Hi, this is Dave Roberts with Latch Lake Music, and I'm here to tell you about our line of microphone stands. These are some of the best stands you can find made in the USA. They are great for anybody who has valuable mics that wants to make sure they're safe. Otherwise, anybody who cares about microphone placement. So I'm going to walk through the, the lineup. We have our small stand right over here, which is the Mic King 1100. Then going up to our medium sized stand, which is the Mic King 2200. And our large stand, which is the Mic King 3300. The 3300 is most ideal for choral and orchestral situations or any point that you might have a large room or need for a large, very tall stand. You have 10 feet of boom and 10 feet of mast. Then moving down to the 2200, this is our workhorse stand. This is used in just about any situation, primarily in studio. Um, occasionally this will go out on the road with people, but you have a seven foot boom and a seven foot mass combined to be a 14 foot stand. Plenty for anybody needing to do general recording work. Then we move down to the 1100. This has a five foot boom and a five foot mast. This also is a very large stand, um, but it keeps you portable. So now let's go through all of the points that really make these stands as great as they are. Starting with the bases on the 2200 and 3300 stands, we have all of the weight on the outer perimeter. It's the most important place for weight to be, and it helps the most with counteracting any bumps you may experience while working. Then moving over to the 1100, we have solid steel legs. Don't be fooled by this thing. It is actually very heavy. Uh, very light casting in the center and very solid legs. So on every single point of adjustment on the Latch Lake mic stands, you're going to find Latch Lake lever locks. These are very similar to what you'll find on any bike out there that'll adjust the height of your seat or take off your tire. These are very effective. They feature a variable tension adjustment screw on there so you can make them as strong or as weak as you want them to be. And they're incredibly easy to use. The great thing about Latch Lake stands um, is actually inside of what goes on here. We don't crush plastic onto steel. That is probably one of the biggest mistake every manufacturer makes out there. Um, basically because plastic does not have a very high coefficient of friction. We actually use steel on steel, which gives you about three times the amount of friction um, that you can get out of plastic. Moving up to the Latch Lake Boom Clutch, this is the world's strongest microphone boom clutch made today. Um, in this, we actually clamp down on a full 16 square inches of surface area. It's very similar to a disc brake, um, but we're actually using a double disc. So you have four sides of four, which gives you 16 square inches. So when you clamp down, you're getting a sure-fired clamp. Um, within this mechanism, we use aluminum on aluminum, which actually has four times the friction of rubber on aluminum or steel. One of the great key features to the latch leg booms are the counterweights. Basically, on our larger stands, the 3300 and 2200, we have a seven pound movable counterweight. This can lock anywhere on the boom. It can be taken off if you don't even need it. Then moving on to our 1100 stand, this is a little bit of a different system um, whereby you can actually stack weights out the back of the boom. It comes standard with the two pound weight and you can buy a one and a four weight set to stack up to seven if you decide to do so. Most of the time the two pound weight is just fine. Standard on every 2200 and 3300 mic stand, you get the spin grip mic mount. This is a great mount. It adds seven inches of surface area to actually give you the flexibility to position your microphone at any angle you want. It can be the heaviest microphone out there, it can be the lightest microphone out there. You get the full control. So this is a quick look at the Latch Lake stand line, from the small to the very large. Please reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer if you have any questions.